What is up, math superstars? In this edition of Mr. Peterson Presents, we're going to talk about comparing and ordering rational numbers. And so for this video is that we're also going to include scientific notation. So in comparing and ordering, if we compare numbers that are written in scientific notation, here are some helpful hints. First step is that we're going to compare the exponents first. And so if we notice that one exponent is bigger than the other, we're going to know that the number with the bigger exponent is the bigger number. And if both exponents are the same, what we're going to do is we're going to go to step number two, is that we're going to go ahead and compare the rational numbers. So if you have a decimal or whole number involved, you're going to go ahead and compare those. So let's take a look at a couple examples here. And so we have on the left hand side here, we have two and 39 hundredths times 10 to the ninth power. And on the, on the right hand side, we have three and two tenths times 10 to the eighth power. And so in comparing scientific notation, the first step is we're gonna go ahead and take a look at our powers of 10. So in taking a look at our powers of 10, we notice that we have two different exponents here. We have nine to the power of 10 and eight to the power of 10. And since we're taking a look at our exponents, we realize that 10 to the power of nine is obviously bigger. It has one extra zero involved. And so what we can say is that, we're gonna say that the left side, two and 39 hundredths times 10 to the ninth power would be greater because the exponent is bigger on the power of 10. Let's take a look at this example. So we have one in 45 thousandths times 10 to the negative ninth on the left. On the right hand side, you have one in 45 hundredths times 10 to the negative ninth. And so our first step here is that we're gonna go ahead and compare our powers of 10 here. And we notice that they are both exactly the same. So our next step is we're gonna go ahead and take a look at our rational numbers here. So to compare, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and line up our decimal points here. And I'm going to make sure that they both end in the same place value. So that I have thousands here. So to compare these two, I have one in 45 thousandths and then I have one in 450 thousandths. So if I compare these two, obviously 450 thousandths is much bigger then one in 45 thousandths. And so I can say that my number on the right hand side is bigger. So I'm gonna show that with the less than sign. So now what happens if I have, if I'm comparing, if I'm gonna order now numbers written in scientific notation. And so on the left hand side here in this left hand box, so you can see that it's gonna be the same as when we go ahead and compare. And so you can see that what happens is you can compare the exponents between two numbers or three numbers or four numbers. And then after that, if you have all the same exponents, you can go ahead and compare the rational numbers. But if they're written in a different format, what you can do is you can change the numbers to a common format. And so maybe you're stuck between two different numbers and you're trying to decide which one is bigger. You might change both of those into a common format that you like the best. And so if you're stuck on how to change numbers into different formats, you can go ahead and check out the fraction decimal percent videos. But let's go ahead and take a look at this example. So for the sake of this video, we're just gonna look at just numbers written in scientific notation. And so here we have one, two, three, four, we have five numbers that are written in scientific notation. So what I'm gonna do first to help me out is I'm gonna go ahead and highlight all of the powers of 10 that I have. This is gonna help me to, to kinda of help give me a starting point to what we're gonna do here. We're gonna compare these numbers in ascending order. So ascending order means I'm gonna go least to greatest here. So I'm gonna look for my smallest value here in my exponents. And so in these, I'm gonna look for the negative exponents first. They're gonna be my smallest. And my smallest is gonna be negative four is my exponent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and write out that number in scientific notation. So I have nine and nine hundredths times 10 to the negative fourth power. And I'm going to go ahead and cross that out so I don't 
reuse that again. So we got one down. Let's go ahead and take a look at some other ones now. And so you notice here that I have two numbers that both have negative three as an exponent here. And so my next number, after I compare the rational numbers, just like I did in comparing in the previous part of this video, I noticed that four and eight tenths is bigger than four and eight hundredths. And so what's gonna happen is my smaller number obviously is gonna be four and eight hundredths. So I'm gonna write four and eight hundredths times 10 to the negative third power. Then I'm gonna go ahead and cross that off my list. And you guess that next up is gonna be four and eight tenths times 10 to the negative third power. So we've already done the work for that. So now I'm left with two numbers. We're comparing exponents here. And so what I got next, five is gonna be a lot smaller than the seven. So my next number is gonna be two and six tenths times 10 to the fifth power. And then last, but certainly not least is gonna be, oops, forgot to cross it out, sorry, is gonna be one and seven tenths times 10 to the seventh power. And so you can see here is that I ordered these the least the greatest. So I compared my exponents and then when I was stuck, I compared my rational numbers. And so you might see examples uh, in the classwork where all of a sudden now you have fractions and decimals and in different formats along with scientific notation. Take your time. This one's gonna take you a little bit of time where you change them into a common format. If you're stuck between two or three, compare them and do your best.